Britam, you can see with a pole right there, that is right now the tallest, uh, the tallest uh, building in Eastern Central Africa. Uh, My name is Chris. Yo. Uh, from Rwanda, Kigali. From Rwanda, Kigali. Yeah, uh, everyone say, mm. like if you come to Nairobi, mm. about the things you need to fear, mm. the house you have to fear. There is a, a funny argument if KCC is owned by the government or is owned by uh, the first ruling party of Kenya called Kano. My name is Utah The Voice and today we are in Nairobi, Kenya. So, uh, Nairobi actually is the biggest uh, city in Eastern Central Africa. And uh, there is this thing about Nairobi being known uh, for its infrastructure and uh, spectacular, you know, buildings or towers or skyscrapers. But who owns these skyscrapers? So today I am in Nairobi, Kenya to show you where I am right now, these are one of the most common uh, places where you find YouTubers. Every YouTuber that comes to Kenya will be in this road. So, okay, let me show you what I came to show you. So, I am along uh, Mwind in Bingo Street and I love how they have done the road, the pavements here. Uh, you know, where pedestrians can walk. It's coming out so amazingly. So I'm actually going to one place, one of the most known places where you can have an aerial view of Nairobi, Kenya, and that is uh, Kenyatta International Convention Center. Is it conferencing center or convention center? I need to confirm that. So uh, we want to know those buildings, who own those buildings, and what are the name of those buildings? We don't, because some people, you know, they just know those buildings, but they don't know uh, the names or who owns them. So we'll start with I&M Bank. You can see that building is called I&M, owned by I&M Group. So, but uh, I didn't want to show you from here, that building. Let me zoom in like that. Let me go to KICC and show you what I want to show you today. Let's go. Who realized, who has realized that uh, if you come to Nairobi right now, you find a lot of photographers here. Man. I've realized that all the way when you go like this to this side. So we're headed towards this IM building that I was showing you, but you're going to KICC, Kenyatta International Convention Center, so that I can be able to share with you more about this. So photography is a big deal right now in Nairobi, man, especially on weekends, especially on Sundays. Okay, let's go. I'm crossing Kenyatta Avenue right now. Kenyatta Avenue in Nairobi, Kenya. One of the biggest avenues named after our first president, uh, Jomo Kenyatta. Here we are, I'm just waiting for this part. Being a typical Kenya, you don't wait for the traffic lights. When you find space, you cross with it. All right, let's go. Kenyatta Avenue, as you can see. That is the Mwindi Bingo where we are coming from. So let's keep moving this side. We are going towards KICC. I'm approaching the Supreme Court just past the uh, city hall. So yeah, I'm almost close. I'm going right there. That is our Supreme Court and this is city hall. So I'm going right there. Let's go. I've already entered the premises of KICC and it's just right there and the Supreme Court is right there. So this is the highest, you know, level of court system or judiciary system. It's called the Supreme Court. Also, if uh, you, the lawyers, uh, you know, a lawyer in Kenya, you have to go like uh, five years in the university. After finishing university, you have to go again for one year. Uh, for in the Kenya uh, School of Law. So after after finishing your Kenya School of Law, you are admitted to the bar right there. To the bar actually now to be uh, given license to be a lawyer in Kenya. So that's the statue of a uh, of a first uh, president Jomo Kenyatta. He's also the father to our fourth president Uhuru Kenyatta. So he's the one who commissioned the construction of this building. So I think for that respect. Uh, it was named after him or you know most african leaders uh normally used to name things after them so it's quite a normal thing in uh in african countries you can tell me if you're watching this do you have something like this in your country where like a leader when he does something like an infrastructure or build something a school a university something like that they named the, that project after their name it's quite common in african countries that one I'm for sure, for sure. So we are going right there. Uh, 
I have to pay some amount close to say two dollars to be allowed to go back to that place so let's go man let's go and I've seen a Subaru uh, in Kenya there is this something about Subaru Subaru is actually uh, used by the you know uh, undercover cops or maybe the cid equivalent to cia of fbi of kenya something like that so when you see them you need to be careful <laughs> yeah kenyans can tell you that and uh, if i'm lying if you're watching this kenyan tell me tell them in the comment section what it means to see a subaru in kenya i'm already at the lift going to the 27th floor so wait 27th floor all right, here we are. So, we are already up here at KICC. Wow, so these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Nairobi views in 360 degrees, man. One thing I love about KICC, it gives you 300. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How are you doing, man? Good, good. How you are you? Good? Yeah. <laughs> I saw you, man, you are YouTubing. And maybe, yeah, how are you doing? I'm doing great, bro. Yeah. My name is Chris. Yo. Uh, to show from Rwanda, Kigali. From Rwanda, Kigali. Yeah. Man, I'm I love Rwanda, Kigali. I've been. City. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. That's so amazing. Yeah. Welcome to Kenya. Thank I hope you you're so enjoying. Much, I hope you're having a good time. I'm enjoying so much, man. Yeah. So I can I show don't you. Want to go back. <laughs> so today, actually, uh, I was showing people like different buildings and who owns those buildings. Maybe I can also show you around as we move around as I show you uh, this amazing, amazing place. Yeah. So this is called uh, Times Towers. Once upon a time, it used to be the tallest building in Kenya. Even this KCC where we are stopping, we are stepping right now. We are on top of it at the helipad. It used to be one time a uh, tallest building. But right now, that one, this is owned by the Kenya Revenue Authority of Kenya. But right now, uh, that building there, it is called, uh, it is called Britam. Britam, you can see with a pole right there. That is right now the tallest building. Uh, the tallest uh, building in eastern central africa owned by the britain uh, group so we have got a uh, uap also this other side amazing building so beautiful owned by uh, the uap with holdings this is called the pension uh, towers we can move so that i can show you also around so this is the bunge bunge tower is owned uh, by so uh, most of the time you find um, parliamentarians members of parliaments of kenya are inside there and down there it is our senate and also the national assembly so you find the senators right there and also our members of parliament right there so we have got uh, other buildings like uh, the one forming like a rhombus it is called prism towers prism towers uh it is owned by uh a former there is a politician in Kenya called um, Evans Kidero. He's a former governor of Nairobi and also the former CEO of Mia Sugar. Next to it, you can see there is a building written 88 under construction. After its completion, it's gonna be uh, the tallest uh, residential building in East and Central Africa. So uh, there is this thing. Have you realized that uh, Kenya love to you know having something? It should be big in East and Central Africa. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Kenyans love to. Live. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. someone can say it is exaggerating, but it's normally like that. But no, that is the truth and it's the, the fact. Mm. I mean, even starting from the currency, yeah. you know, Kenyan currency is the, the, the greatest. Yeah. Future. But uh, of late, it has been going down. But actually, right now we are actually improving. We are catching up with the dollar i think we are in 130 something from still, 160. It's still, it's still up yeah the other sure. yeah. yeah i saw uh one kenya shillings is around 10 rwandan francs yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. last exchange I, I checked it was like that ugandan shillings is close to it's close to 30 29 around there tanzanian is uh 19. Wow. So let me show you another other buildings, man, here that uh, they're very outstanding. We have got uh, that building. Yeah, it looks like Dubai building. Wow, eh? wow, it's yeah. called Mihrab. Can you see that? That, that one? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Mihrab. It's owned by a Kenyan lawyer called Abdel Nasser. So, so it faces Mecca, actually, that building. It faces Mecca. That is Saudi Arabia. Oh. Yeah. So, like, which side of Nairobi is that? That is, uh, that is Kilimani. Ah. 
that is Kilimani. Immediately you cross this expressway, yeah. this is our Nairobi Express. You can see that road uh, leads all the way from Westlands to airport, but you have to pay a fee. It's called the expressway down there, you don't need to pay. So when you use it, you have to pay. So that immediately you cross that road, it is Nairobi Upper Hill. Then after Nairobi up, Upper Hill, you'll go to, you'll go to, you, it depends on the places that you are. And you can go to State House, you can go to Upper Hill, you can go to uh, Lovington, also Kililesho, but it is this other side. Kililesho is this other side. So also our State House is here, uh, is around somewhere there. Our Kenyan State House. I, I hear that Kilimani is one of Kilimani and Kililesho is one of the premium uh, area, like it's premium parts in Nairobi. Yeah, like uh, for medium, uh, for semi middle income people. Yeah. But super rich, you're going to find places like Runda, Muzaiga, uh, Kitusuru, and also Karen. So it, uh, it depends. Like uh, places with um, people who are like, you can see them rich, but not in that class of rich people are not like the top rich. So you have Lovington, you have Kilimani, you have got Westlands, you have got Parklands. So like uh, middle upper. Yeah, it is called Aboretum. Yeah, Aboretum. Yeah. Is it natural? natural? Yeah, it is a natural one. Yeah. Uh, just conserved by uh, our government. Kenya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kenya Wildlife Society Kenya or services. Service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, oh, yeah. So that is uh, Uhuru Park. That's our. I can, I can even see the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a, it is a concept right now in Kenya. You know, in Kenya, you have got a very big uh, international airport. Mm. So what happens? These planes sometimes maybe they are not functional. So they are normally being auctioned as low as one thousand dollars. Can you imagine? This plane, all of it, it can be auctioned for one thousand so dollars. That's a, that's a, that's a, a real plane. Yeah, it is a real plane, wow. but it doesn't work. I need to go there. Man. Yeah, it is free. Yeah. It's free to is enter. It a, no, is it an operation? Urupa? Yeah, it is an operation right now. I think you can see there are no people. I was there last week. Oh. Yeah, I was there. Oh, last was there. Yeah, I was there. Oh. I've done a vlog about it. You, you can check on my YouTube. Just like uh, three days ago, I was there. Okay. I was there. Yeah, so uh, these are terminals, Haile Selassie, named after, uh, 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 I mean, uh, the Prime Minister or the Emperor of uh, Ethiopia. Haile Selassie. Remember, Ethiopia was actually the only country in Africa that was not colonized. People say Liberia, but you know, Liberia was uh, a country given to free slaves. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, but Ethiopia, it is typical. They beat the Italians thoroughly. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard yeah. That they used some techniques, some funny techniques. Yeah, have yeah. Have you heard about the story? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know. It is called the Battle of Adoa or Adua. In uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, in, uh, in uh, Ethiopia, yeah. so I can also continue showing you. So that is the IM building. Oh. IM building is a very common building. Uh, it is uh, owned by IM Group. It, that bank is also in Rwanda, Kigali, Uganda. Uh, it is also in uh, Mauritius. It's also in Tanzania, Kenya here. So uh, I can show you something. In Kenya, we have got this called. Um, Nyayo, Nyayo House. If you want a passport in Kenya, you go there. So Nyayo yeah, house. that is Nyayo House. That's Nyayo House. And this one is here. But now I have a question. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. Why do uh, uh, everyone say, mm. like if you come to Nairobi, mm. amongst the things you need to fear, mm. Nyayo House you have to fear. <laughs> Why? So Why it has got a very dark history. Uh, back then, yeah. we used to have a president uh, uh, called Daniel Tortisha Rapmoy. Yeah. Uh, he was kind of rough. So many politicians who are against him, or any person, if you're against the government, mm. used to be taken at Nyayo torture chambers. So people were tortured there as crazy. That's why he has got that bad history. Yeah. So this one is City Hall. This one is where you find the governor of Nairobi, Johnson Sakaja. is right there. It's called City Hall. But back then, we used to have mayors so, or uh, councillors. They used to come here. This is a town hall. So this is City Hall. So this is Nairobi. Remember, Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya, but it's also the, the county. It's the county Nairobi among the 47 counties in Kenya. So, okay, let me show you. There is this project called uh, Bomaetu. 
uh, it is uh, let me zoom in you can see like uh, something is it yellow something building right there can you so that is a government project owned by the government uh, affordable housing so it's called Bomaetu by oh. the government so, so you mean these small, small buildings this? yeah that one alone this is the first phase uh -huh. those others are private so this is the first phase but they are having other phases they're so affordable that um, for a one bedroom mm. you can spend like uh, it is like uh, close to 10,000 uh, USD mm. uh, that is close to 10 10,000 10, uh, 10, 10, running francs no, 10, 10, 10 million 10 million running francs oh. yeah yeah so you've got a lot i don't know like uh okay let me show you one of our favorite buildings in nairobi that's called um, gtc gtc is actually the second tallest building um, um in uh, east and central africa after the bridge that i already shown you right there so it is also ne next to there is a, a, a an hotel there called marriott and also villa rosa Kempiski, one of the you know uh let's say Kempiski. like uh, yeah Kempiski Villa Rosa just next there close to it now which forest is that there's now another forest it is uh, it is called uh, is uh we cannot categorize it as uh, really a forest uh but uh this is just okay there is when you go like this there is a forest called Karura but also there is uh um, so Karura is in Nairobi yeah is Karura is actually in Nairobi, Nairobi yeah Nairobi county but there is uh, also there is a small forest it's called Michuki Park okay. yeah so we have got two small small forests like Michuki Karura we have got Aboretum apart from also the Nairobi National Park which is the only park in the world in the middle of a city yeah <laughs> wow so those are the iconic buildings uh, in Kenya. There's so many main iconic buildings. Like uh, you know, there is also one Africa building. That's one Africa building. Uh, it is owned uh, by there is a lawyer called uh, Ngatia, a, a very uh, a very popular lawyer called Ngatia. And there is also one of a uh, very beautiful. Uh, let me zoom in on Africa. Kenyans know on Africa. It looks like a, a replica of a, a building in Dubai. Then there is a Lemak. There is a building that you see there with something like a dome. So that building is very interesting because the floor is glass. So when you are on that building, you can see down like glass floor. Yeah, it's called Lemak. Yeah. So we have got uh, other buildings like uh, Nation Center. There is a TV station. Yeah, that is Nation Center. Let me zoom in with something like uh, it is called a mast. A mast it is uh, used by radio station and TV station to uh, to be able to uh, to to create that broadband, like uh, something like an aerial in a layman's language. It's called a mast. So there is a TV station called NTV right there. Yeah, NTV Nation uh, Nation TV Television. So there's so many men, so many buildings. So. There is um, where you find a headquarters for Kenya Power. Kenya Power is right there, owned by it is a parastatal. Uh, it is uh, where like um, electricity, all le electricity in this country is controlled from there. It's called Kenya Power. Then you've got uh, Afia Center, and uh, that is owned by Afia Sako. <laughs> Oh, that's enough, man. So let me share with you. So this, this is the downtown of Nairobi. Immediately when you cross Moy Avenue, it's a downtown. And this other side is like uh, uptown of Nairobi. It's more cleaner, few people, and uh, like uh, you find mostly the elites. But don't confuse that with money. Money is mostly found in this other area because there's a lot of money circulating in that other end. Wow, so that's a, a tour of Nairobi. <laughs> you can introduce yourself Thank again. Thank you, man. Yeah. Travel with Tirusha from Kigali. Wow. Travel with Tirusha from yeah. Kigali. Travel with Tirusha from Kigali. My name is Otaha The Voice. And this is my city, Nairobi, Kenya. Feel free, man, Nairobi city, man. That's not, that's not <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, that is Nairobi. I just want to go up here so that uh, uh, I so show... actually me, I, I mm. need to go down at okay. the ground. Yeah. Maybe if you happen to... to come you find me there okay sure yeah. sure sure let me take uh, a small uh, video then we shall link up there. okay bro all right that is a youtuber from uh, rwanda kigali amazing man i've been to rwanda i've done videos about rwanda so let me share with you 
a 360 degrees um, view of Nairobi because I've shown you almost everything man <laughs> I know this city so well so let me show you this is Nairobi in 360 degrees wow all right so I hope you've enjoyed and uh, you can also share with me what maybe you want me to share with you about Nairobi because I know this city inside out and I'm more than comfortable to share with you man all right let's go now let's move down man let's move down okay I've forgotten something that's our railway station right there uh, it's owned by the Kenya Railways which is under the government of Kenya uh, let me zoom in so you, can see, you can be able to see so this railway line was actually constructed more than a hundred years ago man so this is the meter gauge railway but you've got also the standard gauge railway which is a bit faster So most of our engineers come from there, man. Very good engineers, according to the card. Wow, so that is the helicopter now for the KICC. And this is how you get outside here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. So uh, we have um, other buildings in Kenya that uh, maybe the, you cannot see from here like uh, the archives which is owned by the government actually then you've got uh, the KICC so KICC is quite controversial simply because there is a um, there is a there is an argument let me sit here a little bit there is there is a, a funny argument if KICC is owned by the government or is owned by uh, the first ruling party of Kenya called Kano which was also the party for the first president called Jomo Kenyatta. So there is a pull and push because they say the title deed is registered under Kano and the government say it actually this is a government project. So it's saying the truth. Let's go. Alright. Here we are. So that, that was a trip man, that was a trip. So we are going to the ground floor. How was it man? If I find something interesting as we as we go there, I will share with you. So we're already outside now. We're coming from up there. KICC. So KICC actually you can find uh, conferencing centers, you can find offices, you can find uh, you can find you know hotels are also inside here so it's a very diverse place and uh for example if there are concerts some of the concerts are normally being hosted around here this space here is enough for concert and also we normally have festivals we normally have uh, shows and exhibitions you'll find a lot of tents being put here man so it is such a place with a range of new opportunities and things to do so it is uh, a good business opportunity but uh, surprisingly there was a time uh, the government wanted to sell this building here imagine crazy it is a government uh, you know building then someone really wanted to sell it out you can imagine something crazy like that so there is this thing here uh, at the city hall I've already shown you uh, city hall when we are up there it looks like uh, a Russia, there is a some it is called uh Mwenge wa Russia, also something like that in a Russia. Many cities have got uh, things close to that, even our parliament has something close to that. Ah man, amazing, 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 ladies and gentlemen. And that is the most iconic buildings and their owners here in Nairobi. My name is Ntaro Voice. Check my videos in Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania. I've done beautiful stories, man. You can believe, man. And amazing collabs. Amazing. Have a good day.